You've been wasting my time, Beric. It stops now. Seeker, you wound me. The champion nearly starts a war, and you're all too happy to bury it beneath your words. You will tell me about the Kunari. Well, there was that business with the mage. But the champion stopped that from turning into a bigger mess than it already was. And yet we had Orlesians threatening sanctions of every kind and measure. What happened at Chateau Hain? What happened with Talis? You've heard about her? We had someone there, but they lacked your access. Whatever Talis was to the champion, it seems like it angered a nation. Thousands of lives were at stake, Seeker. Perhaps one still is. Uh, nicely non-specific. <clears throat> All right, let me set the scene. An ambush, an invitation, a hunting party. All because of Talus. And of course, there's no one. All I know is it had something to do with you and nobles. Edge is usually very reliable. Reliable at leading us into an ambush, you mean? Why? It's not always an ambush. All right. Maybe sometimes it's an ambush. And there she is. Today you die, pretty one. Oh! What are you waiting for? Who the blazes is that? You'd think the crows would be better at this. They've been doing it for ages. Interesting entrance. You have some fine moves. I do, don't I? My name is Talus, and I've been looking for you. Looking for me? Looking for the woman who has an invitation to Chateau Hain, to be specific. Oh, that's what Edge was on about. Don't you remember? You said your mother received some letter from an Orlesian duke. That would have been for Lord and Lady Amel. They'd expect nobility. That would be Duke Prosper de Montfort, member of the Orlesian aristocracy and a man who hosts a fine salon. Or so I hear. Let me guess, this isn't just a social call? 
I need to relieve him of something he has no right to possess. And I can't do it alone. You want us to be thieves? Well, stealing from our legions is never wrong. Or so I've been told. There's always a catch. Nobody ever helps us unless there's a catch. This isn't how I was planning to ask you this. I was picturing an introduction with... less blood. I imagine if we did this, it'd be together, wouldn't it? That's the idea. Or did you have something else in mind? I just think we should get to know one another. I think I'd like that. So tell me, what exactly is it you want to steal? A jewel. The Duke thinks it's valuable, and it is. Just not in the way he believes. What's more, he shouldn't have it in the first place. He who wishes to walk on water must first learn to swim. Come with me to Chateau Hain. I'll explain everything on the way. If nothing else, you get fine wine and fancy company. But I hope you want more than that. I don't like the sound of this hawk. You think it's a trap? Or you don't want to steal from a nobleman? I don't think we should be breaking laws for someone we just met. we're after is called the Heart of the Many. Interesting name. Interesting jewel. All I care about is getting it away from the Duke. Here's the problem. The Heart is in a vault, behind who knows what kind of traps, protected by a private army of Orlesian Chevaliers, all inside a fortress that was designed to be impregnable. And let's not forget, it's on the side of a mountain, in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by monsters. And dressed as dear Prosper. When is this going to get started? Presently. All right, everyone. You all know the tradition, yes? The first to find and slay a wyvern wins the honors of the evening. And bragging rights, of course. Good luck to you all. I'm here by invitation. Would you tell your master that I've arrived? Ah, Mistress Hawk. Let them pass. They are here as my guests. Please excuse Kahir. <laughs> a polite bodyguard is a contradiction in terms, or so I am told. A chastened? Here? Oh yes, you are Ferelden, aren't you? You would know of his people. They traded in Lothering sometimes. My family never had a problem with them. See that, Kahir? Now you have someone to speak to. He's so very chatty, let me tell you. And who is this lovely specimen? You flatter me, Your Grace. And I see you brought assistance, already armed and armored. Wonderful. I must say, your presence is a surprise. Dear males, we're friends of my mother's, but we haven't seen your family at a hunt for ages. I was more interested in meeting the Duke de Montfort in person. Then I am a lucky man indeed. At any rate, I won't keep you from the hunt. Wouldn't want you to fall behind the others, yes? I don't think I've ever encountered a wyvern before. And why would you? There are exceptional beasts, magnificent cousins to the mighty dragon. My only advice? Beware their poison. It's the deadliest thing about them, as well as the most valuable. Their poison is valuable? Indeed. From it can be brewed Aquae Lucidius, a libation adored even by the Empress herself. Drinking poison for sport? That really sums it up, doesn't it? But here you are, wasting valuable time on questions. Do you wish the others to beat you to the prize? It will be an interesting diversion, I'm sure. 
Good luck to you, my lady. Remember, fortune favors the bold. You have come a long way to join our duke, sirrah. You'll pardon me for saying that you do not seem like a hunter. A word of caution, since you are new to this. Wyverns spit venom. Their victims suffer terrible pain before they die. Death is always the result, then? Depending on exposure, it may take days. But yes, death is always the outcome if the poison isn't treated. Since people hunt these creatures successfully, I imagine there's a trick to learn. Ah, oh, there are many tricks. It is best not to face the beasts head on. Flank them. Blind them if you can. I have no doubt this will be a challenge, but I'm sure it's a worthy one. May Andraste keep you safe. If you fail to avoid the venom completely, there are treatments. A distillation of herbs, equal parts, Drake Vein, Andraste's mantle, and Winterberry can counteract the poison. May the Maker's luck grace your hunt. Be safe, Sirrah. Hunting ground. What are we supposed to do? Beat the bushes with sticks? We just need to look for signs and be careful. We get this over with, we get into the keep. And that's where the jewel is. That's where the jewel is. That wasn't the target. Do dragons and wyverns even mix? I don't think so. So if we drop part of this in the right spot, we might lure a wyvern out to protect its territory. Good thought. Do that. Are you married? Is that a proposal? Just wondering if there's a husband behind the throne. Last I checked, no. A lot of blood. Would that be prey or from a wyvern itself? I've heard they fight for dominance. Can't be gentle. Maybe we can use some to draw out rivals. Add it to what we have already. Is it enough to draw one out of hiding? I'd say so. A little one. Probably all we need. In the right spot, no doubt. Cornelius! Silva! Here, boys! Have you seen a pair of Corsairs? I've been calling and calling, but it is no use. Nicodemus should know better, but Sylvain never had an ounce of sense in his head. A slow down and tell me what happened. My hands have disappeared. They took off after a stag, 
And the maker only knows where they've gotten to now. Please, you must help me find them. If I see your dogs, I'll let you know. May Andraste guide you. Sylvain, dinner time. Waste of time. Just ignore them. Winters hunt them. The feathers are supposed to have magical properties. Interesting. Is that Wyvern's mating? Could we mimic that? No. Oh, the sound. Right, yes. I can try that. There is something in there. A nest, perhaps. Creatures. They don't come out on the surface much, however. Maybe they were out gathering hunters.
hold. Oh, blessed Andraste, thank you. I thought I'd die out here. I've been trapped here since last night. Were you injured? Why were you out here? The gas that chased me here got a few scratches in. But I'll heal. The truth told, I'm not looking for the Wyvern. I'm a scholar from Cumberland, researching an Avar cult that once lived here. They worship the Lady of the Skies to the exclusion of all other gods. I'm searching for their shrine. I think I've been to your shrine. There were nothing but angry spirits at the site. Nothing else? Pity. I had hoped. Oh, well. The rumors say they were driven from their last refuge. They left a great treasure in the goddess's keeping. But the mountain has defeated me. Please, take my research and see if you can do anything with it. That must be the altar that weird old guy mentioned. What do his notes say? I guess that scholar was right about something. I've got kind of a bad feeling about this place, though. They breed quickly. And the Orlesian nobility is only too happy to help out. It's a game. The Malfors are so close to the Empress, so anything that pleases them is worth pursuing. Plus, you should really try the Aquai Lucidius. You'll be seeing purple dragons in the sky for days. I'd like to know who thought of making a drink from poison. Was it an accident? People would drink anything. Well, it certainly smells like we're going the right way. There you go, Hawk. It seems we're on the trail. Too bad the trail isn't upwind. find a use for it pretty countryside at least the Molfor family inherited this mountain from a clan of Navarran dragon hunters well maybe inherited is the wrong word what do you call it when you kill someone in order to get all their stuff murder profitable murder maybe I think he wants us to follow him. Wyvern poison. I'm almost certain. Poor thing. Here's a use for that antidote we made. Who's a cute puppy? I suppose we can't keep him, can we? His owner is probably waiting back at camp.
I'm in your debt, madame. Please accept this with my thanks. I guess these things eat plenty of fiber. Ugh, well, at least we're getting closer. Ugh. Looking for clues. Hawk. Ugh. Not the wisest thing you've ever done. Ooh, nug bones. I wonder if a nug call would help attract a wyvern. You know a nug call? You go elbow deep in wyvern shit, and I'm the weird one? We must have enough to bait a trap now. In the right spot, no doubt. Wait, what happened to the birds and everything? Uh. I think this would be the place to find a wyvern. And room enough to kill the thing without getting sat on. They're not stupid, though. We'll need some really good bait. Think we have enough bait to draw one in? More than enough. Careful, though, with this much bait, we might have our hands full. But it'd sure be fun. I'm not here to impress anyone. Let's bring in something manageable. Hmm. What? Nothing. All right, let's see what we have. Plop that down for starters. Actually, that should do it. Let's see if it's feeding time.
help him. Of Ferelden Turnip. I don't know how you came to rub shoulders with your betters, but enough is quite enough. I suggest you run along with your servants while you have the chance. This wizard was mine to kill, not yours. Mine! 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 I paid good coin to be the one who wins this contest. It was my turn! I'm certain we can come to an arrangement, if you like. You keep your mouth shut like a good dog, and you get to keep your tongue. That's the arrangement. You do realize this woman has nasty little thugs like you for breakfast, I hope. More insolence! From a knife ear this time! I can't take no more of this! Kill them all! We can't say the wyvern was too much for them! Now, what is going on here? Prosper! This blasted she bitch tried to steal my rightful kill! Now, is that any way to speak of our Theraldon guest, Baron? This is your fault for inviting a stinking turnip in the first place! Your mother would be ashamed! <laughs> Says the man whose mother has slept with half of Valchevin. My apologies. Arlange has always been a cheat. What would you have done with him? You're not suggesting... Why not? You believe Arlange would have stopped short of murder, given the chance? Something on your mind? Just let him go. He's not worth your time, Hawk. <laughs> My word, such mercy. He can't be more than he is, that's all. You've bested him. I've no interest in more bloodshed. You hear that, Arlange? It behooves you to leave while you still can. I... Fine. I will go. Congratulations on finding the Wyvern. It looks like a fine one indeed. There will be a celebration in the Chateau Courtyard. Do attend when you're ready. You let him go? That was... Very merciful. We only slaughter 90% of the things we meet. We should go to the chateau. Time to practice your table conversation. Right. Done with the wyverns. And various nonsense. Back to the chateau?
We're here for a reason. Let's take care of it. I'm with you. I had a quick look around. There's one door into the castle that isn't under heavy guard. So what's the problem? It's underwater? Enchanted with ancient Davinta runes? Covered in spiders? I can't get it open. And believe me, I tried. Bent a nice set of lockpicks in that stupid door. One of the Duke's guardsmen must have the key. They wouldn't just lock themselves out of the castle. I hope. I don't think we want to go digging through a guard's pockets in front of the Duke's guests. I agree. We need to handle this quietly. If you're set on this, we need to split up. Any competent guard will be suspicious of a big group. Talis and I will look for the key. In the meantime, scout out the castle for another way in. Let's see what we can find out. Come on. Your Grace, this is the event of the season. <laughs> you have truly outdone yourself this time, Prosper. Ah, at last our mighty heroine. Lady Hawk of Kirkwall has slain the first Wyvern. The honors of the day go to her. To hunt the Wyvern on its own ground is to tempt fate. A terrible risk. But the prize... I present to you this belt crafted of fine woven skin. Wear it well and accept the accolades your due. Thank you, Duke Prosper. I'm proud to be here. Your humility, my dear Hawk, does you great credit. Do not mind, Leopold. My pet is always so temperamental before dinner. Leopold, is it? I didn't know Wyverns could be tamed. Tame? <laughs> is perhaps too strong a word. My friends, I officially welcome you all to Chateau Hain. Enjoy a taste of Orlesian hospitality. The famous wishing fountain at Chateau Hain. Mother had a whole collection of these Orlesian Caprice coins she wanted to cast in there. She wanted to throw away a coin collection in the fountain? Why? It's some sort of high society game. The more coins you can throw away, the more important you are, or something. It's very... Orlesian. I didn't ask. Sir Rahawk, I didn't think you were going to attend. Honestly, I didn't plan on it either, but here I am. I'm glad you came. Otherwise, I'd be talking to the Delonces. All the soap in Thedas couldn't make me clean after that. What do you think of the party so far? Recommendations for people I should chat up? The gentleman over there is Bantigan of Ferelden, younger brother of the Isle of Redcliffe. And of course, there's Lord Cyril, Duke Prosper's son. Who are the worst in the crowd? Do you see the two young ladies over there? That's Babette and Fifi de Lancé, daughters of the Comte de Lancé. Don't make eye contact. You'll thank me later. I've never seen anything like it. So polite. That's certainly one way to put it. We should probably go mingle a bit more. Of course. We'll speak later, Lady Elegant. Letting Ferelden's in here. Disgusting. Aren't you Leandra Amel's daughter? I heard you were living with your uncle. How is your dear mother? I didn't think she had any friends who still lived in Kirkwall. No? That is a terrible shame. I have not seen dear Leandra in many years. I miss her so. I don't think we've been introduced. I am Comtesse Dulcie de Lancé, 
My husband and I were acquaintances of the Amels, but that was many years ago. You sound like you've met my uncle. Oh, yes. Little Gamlen Amel. I have not seen him in years, of course. I'm sure she'll be glad you asked after her health. I'm sure she will. The hunt was exciting, wasn't it? I didn't have the pleasure of seeing much, but I heard it was quite the event. You sound Ferelden. It's good to see another countryman here. There's Perrin, but he's... peculiar. Who is this woman, Tigan? I'm very sorry, but I didn't get your name. Hawk. Tigan, I must speak with you right now about the horrible thing Dulce de Lance said. I... of course. Please, excuse me, Monsieur Hawk. A pleasure to meet you. If you speak to Ban Perrin, I don't advise you to bring up the Chantry or Knickers. Why Stop fussing. Sarah Hawk, it's good to see you again. Seneschal, dear, introduce me to your delicious friend. Serendipity, this is Sarah Hawk. Awkward. So, can we talk about something else now? It's been delightful meeting both of you. Don't be a stranger. Another caprice. How many of these are there, I wonder? Welcome! Are you enjoying the Duke's party? This is supposed to be the social event of the whole year, you know. I... tell us? Leliana! It's so lovely to see you again. You look stunning this evening. Your hair is darling. Did you do it yourself? I get the distinct impression you've met before. Oh, briefly. A long time ago. You meet all sorts of people in Orle. It keeps life exciting. I get the feeling there's some trouble here. No, no trouble at all. Everything is fine, Hawk. Why would you think otherwise? We shouldn't take up more of your time, Liliana. I'm sure you have things that need attention. Right now. Is something the matter? I've come a long way to visit the legendary Chateau Hain. I'd be devastated to leave without seeing inside. I've heard the music room is the envy of Orlais. And the... Uh, ballroom is the single greatest example of... Uh, flooring in Thedas. I'll die if I don't view those treasures with my own eyes. Ah, <sighs> well, we can't have guests expiring. I'll see about getting you a tour. Let me handle him. As soon as I have the key, we can signal the others. <laughs> My, what a big sword you have. Do they give those to all the Chevaliers? So impressive. Lovely party. Well, he doesn't have it. What? He forgot he'd given the key to one of the servants. What kind of guard forgets that he's locked himself out of the castle? Don't worry, Talus. We'll find this servant. Right. Nothing to worry about. This can still work. So, let's find the servant. How many could there be? Well, he is Orlesian. I'm trying to stay positive, you know. We're running out of Monsumard Red. This could get ugly. Pardon me, Sir Guard, but could we have a moment of your time? Anything for the Duke's honored guests. I simply must meet the person responsible for those azaleas. They are the finest shrubberies I've ever beheld. We are the most avid members of the Kirkwall Horticultural Society. I never thought I would live to see the day that anything would surpass the Viscount's juniper. This may be the greatest day of our lives. You must introduce us. I can see this is a matter of utmost importance, but I'm afraid I do not have the power to help you.
Put what you found to good use. I've discovered more social interests. Sometimes I wonder if we're at war You know, with I ourselves. really like those shoes. Can I help you? I just tried one of the canapes and it was raw in the middle. Someone must alert the kitchen. I don't wish to speak ill of anyone, but they were also over-seasoned. I pray no one else has tasted one or the scandal. Nutmeg, it ruins even the best cook. I cannot help you, madame. I'm afraid I don't have the key to the chateau. Can I interest you in some Antivan olives? Or I have some smoked am from the Andrefels. They say it tastes of despair. Wait, does it really? How can ham taste like despair? Why would anyone eat it if it did? That's what the importer said. They all talk like that. This wine has notes of oak and springtime. This cheese tastes of sorrow. Thank you, miss. None for me at the moment. Nobody has wanted anything. Olive duty is the worst job. I must have offended the cook. I don't suppose we could have a peek at the kitchens. I'd love to see this hopeless dish in all its glory. I don't know. I, I shouldn't leave my post. I promise we won't tell a soul. Just a quick look. I suppose I could get you a very quick look. The upstairs maids will be so jealous when they find out. Very well. Follow me. I know, right? They treat you like part of the furniture. I'm surprised they don't sit on it. Avoid the cheese plate. Terrible. Have you got the key? I'm usually better at this. She didn't have the key either. Uh, this isn't supposed to be so complicated. Don't beat yourself up about this, Talis. We'll find a way in. I hope so. The servant says she gave it to the Duke's son, Lord Cyril. Let's find him and hope he didn't pass it on to his father. So, Lord Cyril... I don't believe we have been introduced. Lady Amel, is it not? It's Hawk, actually. Oh, of course. I beg your pardon, Lady Hawk. You sound Ferelden. I thought you were a marcher. Please, take this caprice as a token of my sincere apology. It's our legion custom. Cast it into the fountain here, and uh, you might get a wish. Where are your knickers this time, Perrin? <laughs> Shut up, you painted shrew! What entertaining manners our guests have. <laughs> Don't you agree, Hawk? My friend here has been dying to speak with you privately. She's talked of nothing else. For you, Hawk, of course. No, I don't have the cheese tray. You're mistaking me for... I was hoping we could just... Fine, I'll put that in the trash. That wyvern blood has some kick, doesn't it? This is officially my worst night ever. Not Lord Cyril's type. Maybe he just doesn't like elves, or women. Well, you've got one of those factors covered. He has the key. Go get it. What? It's your turn, Hawk. Go on. I guess it wouldn't hurt for me to go talk to him. Please, please try. I think he likes you. So good luck with that. Thanks. Tell the elf that her pleas are for nothing. She's pretty enough, I suppose. No doubt there are some men who would like that sort of thing. I thought you might be a man of refined tastes. I have a great appreciation for beauty. I just was wondering with talk again after the party you have it tell me you have it I have it good then we can find the 
Jewel, and get this over with. You don't sound that excited. It's simply been a long time coming. That's all. This jewel is that important to you? Yes. I suppose it is. I want this part of my life finished. And here I thought we were getting along so well. I can't imagine anyone I would rather attend an Orlesian party with. Even if you are human. Let's find that door and get inside. What's your name? There's no need for you to die today, friend. Just move on. You never saw us. See? You could have walked away. Is something wrong? I didn't want to kill him. I've seen you kill several men. There are other paths. They do not all need to lead to the same destination. Enough. We're here for the heart. I'd like to do this quietly. Alert as few guards as possible. What do you think? Let's do it quietly. We shouldn't get into fights if we don't have to. I'm glad you agree. Let's go. This part of the chateau will be crawling with guards. We'll have to try our best to keep out of sight. Or we could try to create distractions, provided you're good at throwing stones. And if all else fails, we'll give them a sharp knock on the head. Right, of course. Just try not to do it all the time. All right, I'm ready when you are. Here, let's move. Did you hear about the Duke's meeting with the Empress? I never listen to court gossip. That'll get you killed, my friend. Try not to be seen. Can't speak now. I have too much to do preparing the banquet and Leopold's dinner. You don't want to see a wither and go hungry? If you need something, ask one of the servants. Well, why are you still bothering me? There's a problem in the courtyard. Something about a poisoned comtesse. The servants were looking for you. A maker's breath. What have those useless elves done now? I suppose I'd better deal with this. Simply find the jewel and be done with this.
ten hours in this armor, a man's gonna pass out. That's my bloody story. Done. Try not to be seen. Someone's here. Didn't see anything. Bugger Prosper's vault if someone got past. <sighs> what does Babette want now? Her tea was too cold. Oh, of course. It's either too hot or too cold. Or her bed's either too soft or too lumpy. Nothing is ever just right with her. What a bitch. Be quick, but careful. It's no copper marigolds, but I think Aveline would want to see this. You didn't try the cheese, did you? Are you joking? It tastes of despair. I'm not a madman. I can't do that. What was that scrabbling noise? Come this way. Noted off, I suppose. Hit the floor hard enough. Do it. All set. You drop the pie. I'm sorry, Monsieur. It's all squashed while the arms took a bite of it. It's really not that bad. Just put it back on the plate and cover it up with some gravy.
to be seen. Is someone there? What? I see anything. It's not a prosperous vault if someone got past. Must be hearing things. Ten hours in this armor, a man's gonna pass out. That's my bloody story. It's never as easy as it seems, is it? I swear I didn't know. There must be some sort of switch. Something wrong? I don't know. Yes. Don't fret, my dear. Yes, this qualifies as wrong. It's not over yet. But it is over. I knew who you were the moment you arrived. Assassin. Assassin? I knew it. You did? You've been acting strangely ever since we arrived. Clever girl. Have you also deduced that your elven friend is Kunari? Your Kunari? It's complicated. what I get for trusting so quickly. Look, I came to stop the heart from doing something we will all regret. She didn't. Leave her out of this. And waste all the effort I spent luring you here before the heart's arrival? Don't be foolish. Ase hasatra mas. Mas avas trasukulun. Take them away. The elf was Kunari. And the dwarf has no beard. I know it made no sense to me either. Maybe they cut her horns off. 
The Kunari are not a race. They are a religion. What I don't understand is why a Kunari agent would try to kill one of her own people. And why involve the champion? Excellent questions. I expect answers to match. I live to please. You're angry, aren't you? Look on the bright side. The Duke didn't have us killed. That's gotta be worth something, right? Unless he has something worse planned. So that's your idea of making it up to me? Not really, no. Just trying to cheer you up. You know what would cheer me up? The truth. I am sorry. This didn't work out like I'd planned. Obviously. What was your plan, exactly? The one I expected to find is named Salit, a member of the Ben Hasrath, the heart of the many. I was told he's here to sell secrets to the Orlesians, and I came to stop him. I... Suppose I was misinformed. So you came here to stop this Salit from betraying your people? You probably won't believe me, but this isn't a political mission. It's... personal. What do you mean? Salit was my best Vrathari, the one who recruited me into the Ben Hasrith. My tutor. He's the one who saw my potential, convinced me that I could make a difference. It doesn't matter now. But you said he was selling secrets. He is. Or at least he intends to. One last act of defiance. I can't let him do that. Not when he'll hurt so many others in the process. You mean, he'll hurt other Kunari? Not every Kunari is a soldier, you know. There are tens of thousands of farmers, artisans, craftsmen. People who have never hurt anyone. People whose only crime is living. They don't deserve what he's going to do to them. But it's more than my duty to stop Salit. It is my moral obligation. You mentioned the heart of the many before. But you said it was the name of the jewel. It's also what Ben Hasrith means. Some people say we're enforcers that keep the Kunari in line, but that's not it. It's hard to explain. Try. We're the soul of the Kune. We keep its spirit alive and protect it from both outside and from within. Not every Kunari agrees. Nor do they always do what is best for all. The Ben Hasrath remind us of our common goal. You make them seem almost peaceful. It's not always meant to end in violence. There are other paths. They do not all need to lead to the same destination. I probably don't sound very convincing. The way you're talking... It sounds like you're one of these Ben Hasrath. I am. Or I was. Whether I ever am again, I guess that remains to be seen. Is that why you're here? To redeem yourself? Not to them. Doubt is the path one walks to reach faith. To leave the path is to embrace blindness and abandon hope. Another Kunari proverb? She who swallows wisdom in tiny chunks avoids choking. So did you really involve me just because I had an invitation? You were the only one on the invitation list who wasn't a personal friend of the Montfort family. And you're also Ferelden, with no reason to love or lay, and incredibly competent, so I hear. And what was going to happen when all this was over? I thank you. We go our separate ways. Really? I wouldn't notice a thing. Truth? You're... not exactly what I was expecting. Perhaps if I'd done my homework, I would have known more about you. Given you the respect you deserve. Nothing I could do about it now. So everything you told me was a lie? Not everything. So I simply missed the part where you're Kunari. You don't need horns to embrace the Kune. 
What you need is a purpose, a belief in unity, in improving the lot, not only for your own people, but for everyone. You sound like you actually believe that. I do. Nobody is controlling my mind. I'm not insane. Being Kinari doesn't automatically mean you're a zealot. Most Kinari don't even understand humans, why you act like you do. But I grew up among you. I understand perfectly well. Wait, aren't you here to kill someone for the Kinari? I never said I was killing him for the Kinari. So you're improving his lot? Perhaps repeatedly? <sighs> I know it's hard to understand. Our way of thinking must seem so alien. But just tell me, can you honestly say there's nothing to improve? Nothing to strive for? We believe in striving together. We may stumble, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't try. I don't disagree. It's who I am. I joined the Ben Hasras because I felt it meant something. M means something. You sound like you're trying to convince yourself. It's been a long time since I talked to anyone about it. I suppose it's not really a prison cell conversation. I assume you have some sort of plan. I always have a plan. A good one? Oh, ye of little faith. <sighs> the first order of business is getting out of here before His Grace decides we would taste good in the soup. Or whatever he has planned. Any ideas? We didn't come here alone, remember? How many blighted rooms does this place have? We've passed that sconce three times already. This is ridiculous. How could you get us lost inside the castle? Right. It's my fault. Shall I go ask one of the guards for directions? <sighs> That's it. I'm officially tired of waiting to be rescued. Why didn't you just do that before? You said your friends were coming. Hawk! So... The rescue plan didn't work. I'm sure you've figured that out by now. Let's get out of here. So, back through the castle, then? There's a better way than fighting through the Duke's entire army. I'll show you. We found your equipment, at least. Then we should head for the caves. That's the way out I planned to take us through, originally. Unless you want to carve your way out through the Duke's army. We'll see. Just watch yourself, Talos. It's up to you which way you want to go, Hawk. I'll help you either way. Constitutes an alarm. Expect a swarm. Let's hope this escape route works. If we get to the caves, we'll be safe, I think. Is it usual for statues to smell as much like bilge water? Come on! 
See? Caves. Just like I said. How did you know about this? I stole old plans from the Fourth Blight. This was a retreat. At any rate, there's an exit that leads out on the outside. That's your way out. Got everything from the chateau? The way those rocks look, I don't want to test this path more than once. And one more. Hmm. Not enough to make new pauldrons. But I'm sure I'll find a good use. Thank you, Hawk. Would you look at that? When you hold them in your palm, the quills all point the same way. Like a compass. Thank you. 
There's a lake? In the middle of the mountain? The retreat needed to house hundreds of people during the blight, if not thousands. Can't do that without fresh water. But it's a lake. Oh, that. I have no idea. That's odd. I could swear there was... Trust me. Talus! The Circle are not the only ones who know how to break a mage. The Duke is a fool. His enemies are posturing guileless lot, but you are worth testing. Prosper can fight his own battles, and I shall choose mine. Did you? get you out of here, and I meant it. Let's keep going. The exit can't be much further. up in this hawk. Canari follow their own laws, not ours. Talus makes you uncomfortable? Yes. Do I? It all makes me uncomfortable, which is probably intentional. Can a Canari be grateful to outsiders? We're just tools. They really aren't like us. Not even her. Don't look now, but I think we're almost at the exit. I wonder if I can have this bound when we return to Kirkwall. 
strange. Is that a map on the last page? I had a plan. It was a good plan. The kind that had an escape and everything. I think you're right, Talus. So, you could go. There are, however, other options. What did you have in mind? I know you think I lied to you. Well, I did lie to you. But I'm hoping you can look past that. What Salit is going to do will harm so many innocents, my people as well as yours. It's my duty to stop him. Even so, I can't do it alone. Not anymore. Explain what's so terrible about Salit's plan. I can't. Not completely. And yes, I know. That's a hard sell. The information Salit plans to turn over to Orle won't just hurt Kinari, however. It will harm anyone living in Kinari lands. Even those who fled the Kinari of any race will be condemned to persecution forever. So this isn't just some political scheme. If only it was. I'm not here on some directive from the Kuhn. I came... Salit was declared Talvishoth. But they didn't deem intervention worthwhile. I... couldn't agree. I had to try. Doesn't that make you Talvashoth as well? No. The Ben Hasrath didn't order me not to do this. But here I am anyway. <laughs> I was trying to earn my way back into their good graces. This probably won't help. Why? What did you do? It's not easy being an elf in the Kune. You're not born to it like they are. I've struggled to find that peace, that certainty. I know it's there. I just keep falling short. What about you? Have you ever been a part of something bigger than just yourself? I have friends and family. I'm responsible for all of them. It's not the same thing. The Kunari have a vision of what life should be like. Free from pain and fear and doubt. You see tyranny, and I see caring and interest in the welfare of all. Yes, it could be better, but so could human indifference and cruelty. Or do you disagree? No, you have a point. Then help me stop this before it goes too far. What did you have in mind, exactly? Well, we could go back, maybe have some tea with the Duke, get to know one another. Then, just as he starts to trust us, you slip a bag over his head, and we drag him to Antiva. I hope you're not serious. Or, we could find out when Salit is arriving, and stop him before it's too late. You don't actually think you can finish your mission? Alone? Probably not. But that doesn't mean I shouldn't try. Some things are worth dying for. 
After everything you've already done, why would I help you again? Because I've got your nose. The Kuhn taught you that? If I were following the Kuhn, I would actually have your nose. I suppose that doesn't help. If I had my way, you would never have been this involved in the first place. I see your side. What now? That's up to you. I couldn't force you to help, even if I wanted to. I get the feeling you're an exceptional person, Hawk. Here's your chance to prove it. Thank you, Hawk. I... Thank you. I knew you were a worthless traitor the moment I laid eyes on you. Baron Allange, you really want to do this again? You filthy turnip! You humiliated me! Give him that much. This is it, the location on the map. <laughs>
Balamaras, Bendar Salit Asit. Satarith Barak, Anat Kufir Abaz. Atasravel, Pana Hedan. Salit is already here. He's meeting with the Duke at the base of the mountain. Then we're going the wrong way. We need to get down there before it's too late. Let's get this over with, Canary. Before your assassins find us. Already I regret agreeing to spare them. I have chosen my path. That choice should not... Farshera! I am here to facilitate your deal with the Empress. Nothing more. Your Grace. It's a list of names. What is the meaning of this? You asked for a weapon. I am providing it. We expected the formula for black powder, dreadnought plants, a map of Cunandar, anything. This. This is useless. Your Grace. Ah. The Ferelden. You just keep turning up. There's no need for you to die here, Duke Prosper. You have a lot of cheek, you insolent little wench. Stop you, Salite. And I said I would slay you if you tried. If anyone is to do any slaying, it will be me. <laughs>
Watch yourself at that piece. Leopold! <laughs> 
Unbreakable! will hear of this. Ole will burn Kirkwall to the ground. All of you will die screaming. I swear it! It's up to you how this ends. I can help you up, or you can fall. <coughs> well, I don't think you'll survive that. Atash Varin Kata. If the Duke only knew what he nearly had in his grasp. Thank you. There's no way I could have done this without your help. What is the scroll? This is a list of agents throughout Thetis. Kinari, like myself. Many of them have children, family, friends. They're people you wouldn't suspect. Some have even left a Kuhn behind. But if this list fell into human hands, they, and everyone they know, would be killed. The Arakun believes they knew the risks. But what about the innocents? I... I couldn't let this happen.
So what now? You aren't just going to leave, are you? <laughs> you think I would fit into your merry entourage? Oh, think of the conversations. What brand of zealotry shall we discuss today? I don't know. There are so many options. You're not a very nice person, are you? You asked if you'd fit in. <laughs> Maybe some other time, Hawk. I still have a few things to do, but I am grateful. I want you to know that. Maybe those agents should be discovered. I believe in the Kune, but I am not doing this to protect the Kinari. The list doesn't distinguish innocent from guilty. It doesn't show the friends, lovers, children who... Nobody should have it. You didn't mention that Salit was a friend of yours. He trained me. I suppose, in a way, he saved me. I owed him a better death. This was important. You've been... so much more than I expected. Such as gullible? No, I wish I'd just told you the truth right from the beginning. That would have been interesting. Oh, before I forget, that was going to be the heart of the many. You'd find a jewel while I'd go off and find Salit, and be back before anyone was the wiser. I suppose nothing ever goes like we plan, does it? Take care of yourself, Hawk. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. Let me guess. You haven't seen Talis since that day. A safe assumption, given her nature. And who is left to appease Orlay after a duke's murder at the hands of the champion of Kirkwall? Prosper invited it by dealing with Talvashoth, possibly under orders from Empress Selene. Imagine the scandal if that was known. <laughs> if you believe a Kunari agent. Well, that's the difficult part, isn't it? I don't know why Hawk helped Talus. I suppose the elf did have her nose. <laughs> Whatever the reason, I doubt it's the last we've seen of her. But what do I know? I just tell stories.